Today we are going to be showing you how to perform a drive motor electrical evaluation on a JLG electric scissor lift. This evaluation can determine if you have a damaged drive motor or faulty wiring or connections. Step 1 Power the machine off and unplug the battery disconnect plug. Then remove the covers from the drive motors along with the cable clamps if installed. Disconnect the wires from the drive motor. Disconnect the F1 and F2 blue wires from the power module. Disconnect the orange jumper wire located in the power module compartment. Next using your multimeter in a low resistance mode perform the following checks. Between the terminal lugs where the black and red are mature wires connect on the motor. The resistance should be less than 2 ohms. Between the blue and orange field wires the resistance should be less than 2 ohms. Between the yellow and brown brake wires the resistance should be 15 to 25 ohms. Between the armature stud and the motor housing the resistance should be greater than 1 mega ohms. Between the blue field wire and the motor housing the resistance should be greater than 1 mega ohms. Between the red armature stud and the blue field wire. The resistance should be greater than 1 mega ohms. If any of the readings are out of specification it will be necessary to disassemble. And further inspect each circuit. Or replace a drive motor. If all the readings are within specification, your drive motor is working properly. Thanks for watching. For genuine JLG parts check out our website gciron.com.